But what happens is there's balancing forces that happen somewhere within one spectrum of being. So the balancing force can happen. So if I'm driving very hard in business, which we all tend to do as entrepreneurs and people who want to make big changes and big things in the world, and who actually also to attain our own freedom, to live the lifestyle we wish, right? And to have that magnify. That takes a type of power to move above and beyond the morass, above and beyond the ordinary. You have to be able to move against the grain. But if you move against the grain by pushing, which is what we've been taught with this hyper-masculine disposition, then what tends to happen is, is that we suffer in our relationships. I have. You know, I almost lost my wife and my two kids because, you know, I was, you know, creating multi-million dollar companies, running rock star life, and here I am. Oh, hi, hon. Hi, kids. Like, what the heck? You know what I mean? I wasn't, you know, watering my own garden. Right. So I had to unwind that because the gain I made in this actually had a balancing force here in my health, I'm eating on the road all the time. My my very passion, uh, martial arts and health and and uh, coming into uh, a type of um, wholeness, you know, that that passion of mine, I was intending to. So that extreme achievement in one area has a balancing force. It could be in our spiritual dimension. So we're attaining or able to create freedom in the realm of experiences generate experiences we wish, generate um, purchases as we wish, which is great, beautiful thing to have, no problem around that. But if there's this continuous longing for real freedom, then there's no purchasing of real freedom. <laughs> <laughs>